guys, Ray Bashir here at Blue Shield Tactical Systems here with my friend Albert Houston, Genesis Jiu Jitsu. Today we're going to be talking about uh, pummeling, getting uh, your, your underhooks uh, on, on the suspect. Uh, now, again, I'm not just going to come up here, we wouldn't just start here in this position. You know, I'm not just going to come up and grab my suspect. So that, how does that happen? It's generally from striking, those type of things is how it happens. But I'm going to show you and then I'm going to demonstrate how it's useful. Okay? So we're here and we're pummeling. And I know you would think, well, hey, you know, what's, what is the use in this? You know? And if I didn't know, of course, yeah, I would think the same thing. So all I'm doing is coming in and I'm coming under here, bringing my hand toward my chest oh, and coming under. Bringing it here, coming under, okay? So he's doing the same thing at the same time. I'm bringing my hand in, he's bringing his hand in. He wants to prevent me from getting this double under here and clinching him up. That's what he's wanting to prevent. That's also what I'm wanting to prevent as a law enforcement officer. I'm not wanting to be stuck in that position to where he has this, and now he drives me down to the ground. It's just a bad position for me. Now, again, how do we end up in the position? Uh, it's generally from active aggression, where your suspect is coming in and striking. So he coming in and strikes, boom, and now I end up here in this position. Now, I realize from this position that there are techniques out there where you can, you can take him down, you can drop him down to the ground. But if he's attacked me, I want to separate myself from him. That's the goal. Uh, I can do that by strikes. In this situation, I can't because I'm too close. But I'm here, all I'm going to do is duck under, move myself in behind it, and push off. Now I can use something on my belt. It's very simple. You don't have to worry about taking him down to the ground. All I'm going to do is get him behind him. Now I'm able to get that separation. So. Again, we're here. He's, he's coming in for that strike. Ooh, I get close. Now, I've got these double unders that we've achieved. I move around, get him behind him. Now I can push off. Now, how can we practice getting that pummeling in those underhooks, just like we were doing just a second ago? So we're here. You can have this with your students. So I come over. He does the same thing. We're back and forth. Boom. Now, without him, how does that look? So we're here. I come over, and I'm doing this. Bring it to the inside, I'm coming around. Now, if I have a choice of getting an underhook on which side, I want it on my gun side. That's the one I prefer to have. Why? Because even if I'm here, I'm lifting the arm so it makes it difficult for him to try to get to my gun because I'm right-handed. So I'm going to lift here, and I can still go out from under my underhook. I can use it to pop him forward. Okay? Guys, for other videos, log on to BlueShieldTactical.com. I hope you enjoyed this one. We have plenty of more. Look at our upcoming courses there. Uh, we have everything from our close contact defense instructor, knife defense instructor, de-escalation. Other courses are coming out. Thanks. Be safe out there and have a good day.